Hey ya! My name is Magic. This is gonna be a really quick tutorial on how to install Loot Mod. This is not the beta install. The beta install will be covered in a separate video. This is just gonna be the normal version of Loot Mod. If you want to install Loot Mod, head to the GitHub link in the description below. Head over to the right side of the screen and click on Releases here. Find the most recent release. In this case, it is 3.3.3. .3. Scroll down. Find where it says assets and click on loop bot whatever version number dot zip. Save this wherever you want to. Now head over to wherever you saved it and extract it. Select it, right click, extract here. You may now delete the zip file if you want to. And you'll see all these files in here. Make sure all these files are in the one folder that you want to keep loopbot, and then run loopbot.exe. You might see a pop-up that says we have configured your console open console key to page down. You can click OK on that pop-up. You will also see this. Would you like to update slash install loopmod? If you don't have loopmod installed or you're outdated, click yes and it will update it for you. If you have the beta installed, click no. By this point, you should have loop mod installed. Now I'm going to show you very quickly how to make a partition for it. First things first, you'll want to go into game, get the loot in your hands, find a server or join a game in a local match, hold the loot in your hands and press your kick key, F by default, in order to open up the loot mod partitions window. Once you've done this, you can come back to Loopbot. Click Load MIDI File. Find a MIDI that you want to load in. We're going to use one of mine for the time being. Click it. Click Open. You'll notice tracks over here, the MIDI instruments here. If there's a Glockenspiel track, Uncheck it. This is your drum track and you won't need it. Once you've done that, or followed any other notes within this, you can change whatever you like. In this case, it says to use four notes per chord, so I'm going to change notes per chord to four. Make sure the instrument is set to Mordhau Lute if it is for the lute, and Mordhau Flute if it's for the sham. Then go over here, click Save Current Song, Name it whatever you like. There can be spaces and dashes, no underscores, no other characters. Click OK. And there you go. You saved your partition and you can now go and play it in game by selecting it with your number on the page of the loop my partition and then pressing your faint key, Q by default, in order to play and pause. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Have fun barding.